Well, hair loss is an emotionally devastating aspect of breast cancer treatment, and Starling Physicians is the first practice in the Hartford area to offer scalp cooling technology to help chemotherapy patients keep their hair. Breast cancer subspecialist Dr. Daniel Morgenstern is with us today to tell us about how this works and to discuss the critical role that hair preservation plays in a patient's cancer treatment. It is so nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you, so you so much, much for, for having coming me. On. Welcome. Really appreciate it. Can we start off first with just a brief introduction? Tell us about yourself and tell us about this uh, physicians and the cancer center and the options that you're offering. Absolutely. So um, uh, I joined Starling Physicians about a little bit over a year ago. I uh, came here from uh, the Boston area where I practiced breast oncology at Dana Farber for about 15 years and uh, learned a lot of things there. And I'm glad to bring some of those technologies that, that uh, were uh, initially pioneered both uh, at Dana-Farber and Memorial Sloan Kettering to Central Connecticut. And uh, um, uh, scalp cooling indeed is one of those technologies which is in, in improving the quality of life of some of our patients. Uh, Starling Physicians is a multi-specialty group practice. We have eight oncologists and fusion centers in Enfield, New Britain, and Wethersfield in the Connecticut area. Okay, wonderful. Now, I want to get to this technology, and you were able to bring us uh, one of these pieces of equipment. Can you explain how this works and what kind of results patients can expect with this? So, um, uh, in years past, and 30 years ago in Europe, uh, primitive scalp cooling technology was used, and that was basically just putting ice packs on the head and switching them out every 30 minutes. It's very labor intensive. You need a partner to help you with that. Mm -hmm. Uh, this device, which I will kind of hold up here, is uh, a circulating uh, refrigeration unit on your scalp. Mm -hmm. So this actually gets placed on the, on the head. And if you can see here, there's an intake and an outtake valve. So refrigerated water uh, comes in one and comes out of the other. Okay. And so by wearing this cap for about 30 minutes before chemotherapy, during chemotherapy, and for about an hour afterwards, you can bring the temperature of the scalp down to about 64 degrees. Mm -hmm. That's cold enough to cause constriction of blood vessels and uh, decrease the penetration of chemotherapy into the scalp. It may also reduce the proliferation rate of the hair follicle cells to make them less susceptible mm. to the damage from chemotherapy. Wow. So by both those techniques, uh, this is a, a means to uh, reduce the risk of hair loss. Now, it's not perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, this Paxman technology has been studied in a randomized uh, trial of 140 patients. And amongst those who use the uh, scalp cooler, uh, the results varied, but at least 50% of all patients treated uh, maintained their hair and did not need a wow. wig. And uh, encouragingly, in some of the more common regimens uh, that involve a class of drugs called taxanes, mm -hmm. um, in that group of patients, uh, those success rates were in the 80 to 90 percent range. Oh my so, goodness. you know, really seeing some promising uh, results. And this is really kind of a, you know, something in a long line of improved supportive care uh, uh, as we as we improve our cure rates for breast cancer. Uh, we're, we have rising expectations about how to get through it mm -hmm. uh, without the physical and emotional scars. Years ago, I can remember back in, the, back in the 80s, patients were distressed that they weren't losing their hair or they weren't having nausea and vomiting because maybe it wasn't strong enough. Mm. Now we're sort of more sophisticated, more targeted about our therapy, we're more confident about our results. And in addition, now we're saying, how can we get through that minimizing things like nausea vomiting, minimizing things like sure. hospitalization for infection, and now the next phase, minimizing things like hair loss. We're making a lot of progress. If anyone is interested and would like more information, where can they find it? Of course, we'll have it on our website, but would you like to share sure. it? Sure, so uh, www.starlingphysicians.com slash keep hair mm -hmm. is an excellent resource. Uh, the technology is called Paxman, P-A-X-M-A-N. One can look on their website as well. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Morgan. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much.